Hello friends and welcome back to your own channel. Today I am going to explain about ANOVA very clearly and in lucid manner. Before we begin, if you like the content that I post, please hit the like button. It gives me a lot of motivation. Also, if you are new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel and keep the notifications on. Let's begin. So what is ANOVA? Analysis of variance or ANOVA is used when we want to compare more than two population means. But wait, why do we want to compare the means? Okay, let's understand. Let's say an environmental agency hired you to check whether a particular car make is polluting more. And there are three different car makes to be checked. Interesting, right? Next, you would then collect the emissions data of all these cars, albeit with carefully designed experimental setup. Let's assume the data you collected look something like this. Now, in order to arrive at decision, you choose to compare the average or mean emissions from each car make. Well, it's fair and square. And average emissions of each car make are something like this. Now, you arrive at a decision that blue car is polluting more. Well, you are wrong. Albeit, not completely. Mathematically, you are right, but we need to check this claim statistically. Sounds confusing. Not really. Let's understand. We took emissions data from sample cars, right? And not the entire population since it would be cumbersome to collect or not even feasible to do so. So what we are doing is we are estimating about the population based on sample data. Hence, we need to make sure that means we calculated from the sample holds true for the population as well. That's why we need to statistically check our claim. That's why we use ANOVA to compare the means. Now, to check the claim statistically, you will frame a null and a alternate hypothesis. Now, what's null and alternate hypothesis? So, in simple words, null is a status quo. Its rejection lead to alternate hypothesis, while alternate hypothesis is what we want to prove. Now, in our case, null hypothesis is mean emissions from all three car make are equal, while the alternate hypothesis is for at least one pair mean emissions are not equal. Let's assume our overall distribution of emissions data from all car make and it will look something like this, where mu is the mean emission from all the cars of all three make. In other words, it's a global mean. And the distribution for each of the car make look something like this. Now, ANOVA will tell us this three distribution look like this or this. Which one is true? But wait, how do we do that? Okay, let's understand. ANOVA decomposes total variation into components of variation. Mathematically, total sum of squares is equal to within sum of squares plus between sum of squares. Let me simplify this for you. Total variation in our data can be due to 1. Variations within each of these three di distributions and that is within sum of squares. Now, total variation in our data can also be due to 
variation between means of each distributions and that is between sum of squares. In other words, how far are this means from the overall mean? Let's understand between sum of squares in more detail. If means are spread farther away from the global mean, between sum of squares is high, while if means are spread closely to the global mean, between sum of squares is lower. In essence, ANOVA compares between sum of squares and within sum of squares. If it's higher, mean emissions from all three car make are not equal. And if it's lower, we can say that mean emissions from all three car make are equal. Now, this was logical explanation of ANOVA and there is more to cover on ANOVA. So stay tuned for more such content on ANOVA and other machine learning topics. Please like, share and subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.